worst thing about nightclubs? Slags. <laughs> no, it's worst thing. No, there's never enough of them. <laughs> never enough never slags? Enough slags. <laughs> I don't know what you lot are complaining about. You'd never get laid if there wasn't slags. <laughs> Good point well made. I think it's that they make you feel old. I mean, I, you know, yeah. like, ten years ago, I'd have gone in and I'd look round to see if there was any, you know, nice-looking girls to have a chat to. Now, I'll go in and i look around to see if there's anywhere to sit. <laughs> <laughs> the music's so loud that you're shouting, and then the mu the, suddenly, in some of the songs, there's just a silent bit, <laughs> and then you end, up, you end up going, I've never killed since! Just really <laughs> loud. I mean, I worked in that for years, and one of the weird things is when... I've had guys come round to me. This is, I'm serious. A guy come up to me, and this is the worst Sorry. one. It's when they go, "Are you that twat, Terry Christian?" And you just don't know what the right answer is, do you? Yeah, yes, Jason's... I am. Would be the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am that twat. Terry Christian would be the correct answer. Or there's like the backhanded compliment that is like, oh, "I thought that you were going to be so fat and ugly, but you're not. <laughs> well, you're a lot prettier than I thought you were going to be." I get that a lot. <laughs> Well, you're so pretty. Yeah. You don't look pretty on the television. But actually, you're, you're beautiful. <laughs> Your skin is so soft, Sean. Can I hold you? <laughs> and then they cradle me like that. Is it mums, mums who go um, clubbing with their daughters and they're like, everyone thinks we're sisters? They're like, no, we really don't. <laughs> I don't like it. You're not allowed to take pets in. <laughs> yeah, I was looking after a friend of mine's Alsatian, and I said, Can I just, I just want to stand by the dance floor with a dog like that. <laughs> and a pint. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's no crash. <laughs> <laughs> Often my partner works nights. And what, am I supposed to stay in? <laughs> I should be able to take the kids to a crash, go, It's some crisps, it's some lemonade, daddy's going dancing. <laughs> OK, so, worst thing about nightclubs, the drinks are a bit dear. That's the right answer. Nice. Well done. Yes, the worst thing about nightclubs is expensive drinks. I always go to nightclubs to get off my tits, which is what they say to me. Get off my tits. <laughs> <laughs> Top thing Brits won't sacrifice to spike the credit crunch. Is it, um, like, just crap from Ikea that you don't need? <laughs> You've gone in to buy, like, a Billy bookcase, but you come out with, like, a lime holder. <laughs> 200 tea lights. <laughs> yeah, I just want these 200 tea lights. I might need to power a runway. Is it crazy straws? <laughs> How crazy are you talking, Sean? I'm talking mental straws. Straws, when you start sucking, it's a week before you taste anything. <laughs> it goes over there. It goes into a different borough for a bit, and then it comes back. <laughs> Don't right. say tea, cos i uh, yeah, big tea is a big deal to people over here, man. You walk in the house, first thing they do is offer you some tea. If you have a stroke and you seem to be coming back from it, they <laughs> offer you some tea. <laughs> just, I mean, you could have just had an abortion, your husband could have left you. But the first thing they will offer you is some tea. Yeah, so I just think people won't do without no tea over here. Yeah. Mm. yeah well, you're not a million miles away with tea. Coffee. 